Good morning, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Harvest Moon, Tale of Two Towns. Starting our year eight of summer. And you know what that means. Time to melt my brain tending to 200 pineapples. <laughs> Alright, let's go plant that right away. Um, yeah. I just need my horse. I'm gonna go there first and I'll deal with all my other animals. Just cause I wanna water. Water stuff first and so I can water it again at six. It's also our wedding anniversary, so I guess I'll do that again. I don't think it'll be any different from last year just cause baby baby is not out of bed yet, so baby cannot contribute to event, but we'll see. Cause we're already we're already playing on the first because I'm very impatient and want my B box upgrade for my lean, I'll, I'll do that as well. Um, I'm gonna leave you out here, horse, just because of lag issues. Okay, um, I took my pineapples out of the seed maker. Uh, do I want to, like, I feel like, let me water first. <laughs> Let's water all the shenanigans. <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll start seeding. Uh, I guess I should probably cut out the seeding. You know how it works? I was actually considering, um, chopping down like, a lot of this tea. To, like, accommodate more pineapples. <laughs> uh, maybe that'll be a thing for, like, next year me. Or I could do it now, because, like, I don't really use the tea. Other than to, like, add out the spaces. But it's also kind of annoying to keep track of all those, like, that open ground. Once it does, like, cover over with grass. Alright, let me just melt my brain for a bit and I'll be right back. Okie doke. I saved, like, five minutes of your life. <laughs> All planted. We'll be, we'll be back again at 6pm-ish to water it again. Alright, now let's do our other, our, our other chores. Bleh, words. <laughs> If there's anything on the message board for Konohana. Always a watering request on there. Oh, you want pumpkins. You want pumpkins early. No. <laughs> I am gonna plant some pumpkins, though, on my bluebell farm, I think, because I don't have that many of them. Yeah, so let's go back to bluebell. Check out our construction request for Eileen. And then I'll go plant some stuff on Bluebell as well. Uh, I guess I'll just take my horse. I don't know where Eileen is. She could be... She could be anywhere. Anything from Ulyssa? No? Keep our eyes peeled. Alright, there we go. Renovations! Another one! Okay, you guys are... What are you guys talking about? Oh, no, Gia Milan? Not now. Not now. I'm talking about pandas! <laughs> Eileen has potential as an artisan. She'd be, she'd be worth teaching. Alright, can you... I don't wonder what you say about Shang. Shang is such an incredible craftsman. I have so much respect for him. Right, well, anyway, let's talk about the request. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you came. I've been waiting for you. Let's get right down to business. Do you want to expand your farm? There are some different things you can do. Do you want me to explain? Nah. I don't need to explain? Okay, I knew you were a sharp cookie. In that case, what kind of expansion would you like to do? I can only do one. <laughs> oh dear, right now all you can do is put in a beehive, okay? Okay, so get the materials together and bring them. Once you do that, I can get right to work. You ordered the following beehives. Check your requests. Alright, so be this about the same, except you'll ask for more money. <laughs> Do you, you want to start making honey, do you? I'll get your hives ready for you. All, you. all I need for you is to get the materials I've written here. Thanks! So, instead of 10,000 gold, she wants 20,000 gold and she wants 10 branches this time. Kind of weird that she's asking for more money this time. Because, I, I, you know, wouldn't the first request technically be more money? Because she had to clear all the trees, but like now all the trees are cleared out. All she's doing is like installing another box. Oh, let's do it. Talk about the request. So you want to renovate? I've been waiting for this. Now then, can I get the items I requested? 
Ah, uh, you can have these branches. Get the requested items. I don't even have to turn them into lumber. A little bit less work for me. Thank you very much. Now the money, that's 20,000 gold. Yeah, the price will keep going up every time we get another V-Box, which is... I don't know. I feel like it should be the opposite. It should be. It should probably cost more for the first one. and Because she had to clear the area, but then it should cost less. Like, for the next one. And maybe you'll get like... Oh, buy in bulk discount. I don't know, that's like video game logic at work here. Let's head to your farm and I'll do it in a jiffy. Alright, what are we gonna like, blow up today? There's nothing you can blow up. Just put on- put the box down. <clears throat> Just wait one moment. It won't take long at all. And bam! She just wants to. She just wants to use dynamite. <laughs> I'm all done. It came out pretty well, if I do say so myself. I made you more beehives! Now you can make even more honey. You'll have to go check it out for yourself. You can use them right away. Well, the work's all done, so I'm gonna head home. See you later! Alright, now we have two bee boxes, so we can make two honey every week. Let's let's seed it. We have we have a few honeycombs we can put in there. I should also get my seeds out. Uh, I'll plant some tomatoes, some corn, I'll plant a little bit of everything. Maybe not watermelons. I don't think I need watermelons anymore. <laughs> Poor cat. Cat's upset. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll plant watermelons. Sell the excess. All right. Well, let's get down to business. I also forgot to take out the honeycomb. Uh, let's get down to business. Okay, I was right, right in front of my face. I just need one. My cheese is done. Okay, the other bee box is behind here. I did honeycomb. Yes, I love. I mean, it'll only last for summer. Summer and, uh, fall, but... Yeah, at least we'll get some more honey. It's not too hard to get more honeycombs. I'll just... Maybe I'll just do, do another request from Mylene to get... Get some upgraded honeycombs. I'm gonna plant some pineapples here. I'm gonna do kind of a... A mixed garden here, but for this big field on Bluebell, I'll do some pineapples. I know, like, if I wanted to get rose honey, I should probably plant all roses, but uh, the pineapples are giving me money now. <laughs> I'll do that now. Um, so. Get this out of here. So I got completed items. We have our rose wine that we put in last episode. That's, that's done. We got rose tea, and we got oodles and oodles of cheese that need to be sold for profit. Let's actually boil this right now. <laughs> um, we're just like right about to complete our cooking list. Alright, cook with that recipe. Hopefully I remember this recipe. Hot. Alright, made some rose wine. First time making this recipe recorded. Oh man, just kind of reminds me of uh, when I had like a Moscato for Christmas. It was like really sweet. <laughs> you, you could just taste the grapes, couldn't taste any alcohol. It's like a dessert wine. It was so good. I'm gonna drink it. Alright, and then the last thing I need to make hot rose tea. Boil that up. 
homemade rose tea. It's your first time making this recipe recorded. And that should be all of the recipes. <laughs> Those are the last ones I needed. Dum da da da! You've learned every recipe there is to learn. Congratulations. You must really love cooking to learn all those recipes. Don't eat too much, though. Maybe I'll even let you open your own restaurant. No, I have too much work to do. Just kidding. Since you've worked so hard, I now present you with the title of Legendary Chef. Well, have fun cooking. Toodles. That's it. That's <laughs> two recipes that were holding me back. Oh, we've... I can't believe I've done it. <laughs> We've learned the 14 salad recipes, the 16 soups, the 64 appetizers, the 73 main dishes, the 54 desserts, and then the other category, which are sort of like jams, teas, drinks, in general. It's all done. I can say I did it. <laughs> We're almost to 100%, guys. Alright, let's plant our other crops, and I still gotta take care of my animals, oh god. I'll do some tomatoes here, and maybe some over here. I'm gonna sell all my extra seeds as well. Tomatoes. Do some corn. Corn sounds nice here. I'm pretty low on corn. Today, just planting. Whoops, stop it. Um, I'll put some watermelons. I'll just put these over here, just kind of out of the way. Oh, my animals are already being herded inside. I'm grossly low on pumpkins. I'll put these over here. And then I'll I only save the crops. Um, and I'll only make seeds as needed. Oh god, I need to eat something. Eat this tea and some pudding that I made off screen. <laughs> I knew I was gonna need the energy. Yeah, I'll only save the crops and make seeds as needed, just so um, I can consolidate a little bit of space. Do -do -do. I like enough room? No, it's gonna be a little skin tag at the end. Alright, uh, might wait to do... Onions. Let's do roses. For all the remaining spots, let's do red roses. I don't know, I already, I already gotta go over and water. Their junk. And I gotta give you Nutri Treats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I think I just need one more Nutri Treat. Yeah, one more Nutri Treat, and they're like done with productivity. Uh, maybe when we skip ahead a few days, we'll go grab us some alpacas. Hopefully, the white alpacas are for sale. Um, I got them out of time. I'll give you a nutri treat. Um, I can only, <laughs> I can only do so much. What did I do with my pen? My... Oh. 
did it. Oh, frick. Stop dancing. Oh my god. How? How? I'm holding the clippers. The alpaca stopped dancing. I'm mad. <laughs> Angrily petting. Like, you know, when you pet your cat really roughly and like it likes it. And you feel kind of weird about it. <laughs> she was like, am I pleasuring my cat? And you're like, guys are all dirty. Bad. Might just have to skip the bath. You guys are getting the bath tomorrow. You're also getting milk tomorrow. So, no milk right now. Uh, pfft, Gotta hurry. <laughs> It's okay if I can't do my wedding anniversary. We are, we've already done it before, so we know how it works, but... Uh, I don't want to water my crops. One more time. Yeah. Unfortunately, my cow that might get a little bit stressed out from not being milked, but... Uh, we can alleviate that. <laughs> they, they get alleviated with the pasture time, and I'll just... Yeah, we'll just fix it next... Time. Also, I need to sell my shenanigans. Um, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't think I need the eggs. So I'm saving the wool, and we're gonna get rid of these seeds. Except for the roses, because I'm still gonna plant the roses. We got stuff planted. Water, water. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> and then, yeah, once we do our wedding anniversary, I'm gonna skip ahead to my kid's birthday. I don't think Dirk's birthday is gonna be any different. Because <laughs> my kid's gonna get older on the 16th, I believe, so... Yeah, it'll be different next year, but not this year. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. There we go. We might just play the summer day four, and then we'll play the 16th, and then the Stargazing Festival. I'll double check if Dirk's birthday's different, but it's probably not gonna be different. All watered, I think. Hopefully my mind just probably went on autopilot. Alright, brain. There we go. This. Sorry I'm late, Dirk. A lot, lot of work to do. Welcome home, Mal. Today's our anniversary, so I cooked something up so we could celebrate. You didn't forget today was our anniversary, did you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have a seat. All this delicious food, I'm getting hungry too. Real life, and baby is still absent. <laughs> Baby's still absent in cutscene. Like how it like it pans up to the bed. You're just like expecting it to be there, but it's not. Heh. <laughs> I might have made too much food. Well, it's our special day, you know. You know how happy I am to be married to you, right, Mel? I'm happy beyond words. And that's that. Alright, today was fun. It's late. I should get to bed. Alright, I'll save off screen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip a few days. And yeah, I should get. I, I think it's the 4th of summer. <laughs> our our Bibba's birthday is. Alrighty, summer day 4. It's our child's birthday. We gotta wait for a bit though. I don't think I can trigger a birthday event right away. Yes. No, yeah. Husband has to come home from work. Alright, stuff is growing. Let me go water my pineapples as per usual. And then we'll water everything else after that. And then we'll go to the <laughs> we'll go to Jessica's shop and see if we can buy some white alpacas. Knowing my luck, they won't be for sale, but here's for trying. I wonder if my pineapples have sprouted. Looks 
Luckily, I'm not getting halted by like any, any like events or. Yeah, they're sprouting. Yeah. Or like the desire to just like sleep a bunch of days. So we're gonna get a pretty hefty pineapple harvest. I'm gonna try to throw them as fast as we can. It's water. You just so much lag. <laughs> oh god. Well, anywho, uh, what what's life been like? A few days off, just sleeping, catching up on sleep. Um, there's a lot of games on sale on the Switch. I got I got like a lot of little games for like a few bucks, and I was like playing a little Lily Princess on the Switch, a visual novel. And I was, I was playing it, I'm like, I'm just like, this is just the little princess. <laughs> this is like just the plot to the little princess. I remember the movie when I was a kid. A like rich, like somewhat rich girl goes to a seminary, which is like a, like a school. Um, and it's like, it's in what, like 18th century London or something. Really dirty and run down looking. But it was like a school for women. Or young girls. And like the girl's father was in India. And she was just sent alone to London to the school where like everyone's super mean to the teachers super mean. And I'm like, oh god, I remember this plot. I remember this plot line doesn't doesn't turn out too good for the girl. Yeah, it's like took took me back. Took me back to those days. There's people who are like that too. It's like they, they treat her like super well at the beginning, because like, oh she has money, but then like as soon as the teacher thinks that like she's penniless. She just like turns her into slave labor. And she's like the worst. Makes you want to smack that teacher. All right, Honey's not done yet. Soon though, I think this one's probably gonna be out tomorrow. Got some bees, not the bees. All right, that has been watered. Like I don't even have to interact with my chickens anymore. <laughs> Just go in, get the eggs, maybe fill up the feed boxes. Yeah, now they're all at five. Knowing how fast I've been playing through the days, um, some of my chickens are probably gonna croak soon. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, well, if my animals start croaking, I'm not replacing them. Like, that's it. I, I don't wanna, like, keep feeding them treats in a perpetual cycle. It's never gonna end. Alright, so you need a Nutri treat. I think I gave you a green treat on accident last time, but that's fine. I'm going to get to. Production, a level 5 production soon anyway. Knock that off. Then I won't have to worry about my Suffolk sheep, so that'll be perfect. I'll just have to worry about white alpacas after this. I can throw out my other note cards. Read them. Well, other than playing that little game, <laughs> I'm trying to like get back into Octopath Traveler too. Just like, where was I? I was just grinding my characters, so like it shouldn't be too hard to pick that back up again. Trying to get back into that while like on a car ride. We went to like Frankenson's the other day, which is like like a collectibles. Uh, call it like a show. But, like many different people set up like their own little booths and they can sell like figures and collectibles and those cards, plushies, all sorts of things. And we had to like speed run that because it was so crowded and even though the parking lot's huge. Um we had to like park all the way down to the end by like a Home Depot. And there were signs everywhere. Like if you are parked in that spot for more than an hour, you will get towed, because I guess all the businesses are tired of all the parking spots being taken up by 
All the all the nerds going to Frankenstein's <laughs> collectibles. <laughs> so yeah, I was just like, I mean, there's like so many cars. Like the odds of your car being taken are like kind of slim, but not zero because there are like three tow trucks going around, just like constantly picking up cars. So, like, yeah, it's not for sure, but yeah, it's not zero percent. We like ran through the thing. Ran through the place. My boyfriend found a Philo pop-up parade. And he likes Philo. He, he likes the, the chocobo form. Well, not it's not a chocobo, but the bird form of Philo from Shield Hero. But it's really hard to find a figure that's not expensive in, her, in that form. All right, do you have any white alpacas? Yes, you do. Let's buy as many as I can. What do I want to name this? Uh, I, well, I named one Yuki, so I'm just gonna rename you Yuki, and we'll go from there. Yuki. Okay. Take good care of it by animals. We got another one. What do I want to name this one? I'm gonna name this one Snow, which is just English for Yuki. <laughs> Yeah, all like the, the snow theme, the white theme. By animals. I shall name you Flake. After Snowflake. What else is white? Uh, don't answer that. Blech. Soap. <laughs> Soap is white. I just have a random. I'm gonna have a random. Uh, <laughs> random alpaca named Soap. Uh, what else is white? I played a game called The Lily Princess. It's called One Lily. What else is white? Uh, not think of soap. Think of Dove body wash. So that is also white. Dove. I don't have a, do I have a? Do I have a bird name? I'm gonna call you Dovey. <laughs> I was thinking like, do I have a bird named Dove? I have Dove and I love Dovey. Can I fit anymore? Oh God! What do I name you? Shampoo! I can't fit that, definitely. I can call you... Shampoo. <laughs> oh my god, I can fit another one. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, that's it. That's, that's as many animals I can fit. I've crammed them all. Oh god, the goddess is gonna be like, dum da 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 you have the most animals you can have now. Congratulations, you really like animals, huh, Milan? Too bad you can't have any more. Must be hard to take care of all those animals, but I guess you love them a lot. By the way, I've heard about this rare, tall, fluffy animal. <laughs> you have one of those, Milan? Anyway, have fun with your animals. Toodles! So much fun! Gotta brush them all. <laughs> Alright, let's go take care of all packages. So to increase their productivity from 1 to 2, I need to give them 15 grain, 15 veggies, and then 15 Nutri Treats. So I'm gonna need to buy more veggie treats, definitely. Um, and then from henceforth, from like 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, I just need to give them 5 grain, 15 veggie, and 5 Nutri. So it dramatically goes down. Oh my goodness, look at it! It's so cute! They're all scared! <laughs> no, let me touch you! I should probably take care of them and like talk to them. <laughs> like, I think all these all back in their own. <laughs> oh, mini game. But yeah, I probably should actually take good care of these guys because I I do want to win the alpaca festival, even though I don't really gain any benefit from it. And Wade has already entered it like two years ago. I want to enter a new one, get a new winner. What are the odds that I'm rubbing Yuki? I don't- I won't do the mini minigame for all of them though. <laughs> this is a little bit annoying. Not worth. Let me brush you. 
They're so scared. It's gonna be annoying just like chasing them everywhere. But then it's also gonna be annoying when they start dancing. I love you. Let me give you love. Get out of the doorway so I can. I don't know who I brush. They're all. It's just an amalgamation. Amalgamation of alpaca. I guess I'll start with the grains. One. Uh. <laughs> can you please separate? <laughs> you remind me of like an Undertale monster. They amalgamate. Three. <laughs> Four. Five. Oh my god. I should probably just push them outside. I'm not sure if my aunt seven. I think that's everybody. I'm gonna assume that's everybody. Let's clip them. Put this in the put this to make a wall. Bam. Make them bald. <laughs> I don't know why they laugh so much just seeing so many of them just like shaking. I'd probably just like lose myself if I had 16 of them doing this. Don't get scared. I'm gonna brush you. I'm not brush you. You're gonna trim you. Alpacas are just so silly. Yeah. Then the white alpacas are better than the brown ones. Just for the simple reason that when you make turn their wool into yarn, it takes less time for it to get out of the maker shed for some reason. The game has a bias towards that. Otherwise, they are priced the same. Alright, so we got a few minuets. before... That's not it. I want to do white alpaca yarn. Yeah, I might, as well, might as well increase the profit for that. Got a few minutes before I can water my pineapples again. Another stack in there. Might as well. Never know if I'll need the yarn for anything. <laughs> I hope the oracle's not a lot like, I want this yarn. Maybe I should save it. Just in case. She usually asks for wool if she does have a request or some random food. I do have a lot more space because. I'm, like getting rid of my seeds and just leaving them as crops <laughs> instead of having both. I do have I do have room to spare. Keep it cause it yeah, let's keep the yarn because it takes so much time to get out of that maker shed. So I don't wanna keep the eggs. I I'll keep the eggs. Food. Let's go socialize with the animals and gather some materials. I can also use this extra honey to like befriend the bear. <laughs> Gives this rice to the bird. Oh, I should also save the cheese for the mice. The mice usually pop up early, earlier on in the day, early and later. They're nocturnal creatures. My friend. Dude. Are you in here? There's a weed. Oh. A lot of times you like to hide in there. Flowers. Look at the nice flowers. Loach. I'll just throw the duck. 
don't have infinite time to look for all the animals and all the gifts that they might like. I don't have anything for you, bunny. Sorry. I'll just throw you out of love. Of course, I wish I could whistle for you. A lot better to gather stuff from the opposite side. I feel like the horse is always positioned in a good spot where you can just get right back on it. Okay, I hear sounds outside, but then my cat's just opening cupboards. He upset. Angie. Uh, I think there's only other boar down there. I'm just gonna keep going. Scrap metal. Not weird to find scrap metal there. Used to finding it at only the waterfall. Chamomile there? Nope, it's not four stars and a half. There's one. I'll save that. Maybe the oracle will ask for herbs. Bird! Do not eat on accident. <laughs> I don't know how appetizing raw rice is. I just give you a stomach ache. They say don't feed raw rice to birds as well, because it, like, they'll eat a bunch of it and it'll expand in their stomach, and yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Stop it! Are you are you that scared of me? <laughs> Wait, why are you doing this? Eat it. To do to make you eat. Huh. I guess you're just acting funny. Let's not think too hard about it. Another bunny. No bear. Bounce. See if I can trigger a cutscene. I've not gotten one gift for the wild animals. <laughs> Going. Do, do, do. Hey, bear, have some honey. Winnie the Pooh. No, you still hate me. Our relationship. Not very well progressed, but we will get there. Or not. <laughs> I mean, only have, like, realistically, I'm only gonna play this for, like, another in game year. And then we're gonna get all the upgrades, and my kid's gonna be full grown, and I'm just gonna, like, wipe the dust off my hands and be like, well, that, that was a good run. In most things. Mouse, I can't really throw you. Mouse! See a precious rock up there? Alright, so it's almost seven. Let me just go finish running down the mountain and I'll do the watering and then I'll come back home. Oh, we got a lot of, a lot of crops to water. Dilly dally. Sell you sell the flowers. Sell the four star mint. Sell that. The chamomile. Keep the four and a half star chamomile. Of course, you stay there. Yeah, you stay outside just because of the lag. It's too many, too many crops on screen. My dirty ass can't handle it. <sighs> oh, also, I finally made myself a Japanese Switch account. <laughs> I was like, I was so close. So close to getting um, a Wonderful Life, the Japanese version, pre-ordered. Like, I made, a, I made a Japanese Switch account. I was like, alright, now I just need some yen. Like an eShop card with yen, so I can 
buy the game. I don't I don't feel like buying it physical in Japan just because it'll take a while to ship internationally. I mean, uh, so far it seemed like the best way to get yen was like through Play Asia. They just like give you a code. And I went to go to check out and I need a PayPal account. I'm like, man, I really don't want to make a pay PayPal account. I don't like tracking these different forms of currency. I know like it's probably good to have a PayPal account. It's probably it's probably easy to manage. It's like mentally I'm just I'm, like I'm just averting myself mentally from like this opening new cards and like having so many different forms of currency that I'm just gonna forget everything. It's already hard enough to remember all my accounts. Finish watering, it's after eight, so I'll be able to do Oops. Oh god, running out of energy. I eat that pudding. I'm pudding for myself. Also, too bad I can't give my my child a gift. Uh, your child does like pudding once it gets into like toddler stage. It's an easy gift to do. Water, water. We're all done for the day. Let's put away this chamomile. Okay. Let's see if the event happens. There it is. Hi, Dirk. I'm home. Welcome home, Mel. You remember what day it is today? You got it. It's Alex's birthday. I didn't say anything. But it is Alex's first birthday. Come over here and let's all celebrate. And since he can't move, uh, I guess we're just gonna go to him. We're not even gonna, like, make him a cake. You know, like, little babies have those little smash cakes. You just, like, watch him. <laughs> watch him just, like, mush up a, a mound of sweets and they have, like, their first taste of sweets and then, like, they're never the same again because they're like, oh my god, this is delicious. Man, Alex is so cute. They grow up right before your eyes, you know? It all happens so fast. Man, I'm thinking too deep. I should just enjoy the moment. Anyway, not to brag, but I think we've done a great job as parents so far. Are you sure about that? We Is that baby even alive? I, I have not held him, fed him, done anything to that baby for a year. I don't know, Dirk. <laughs> Why you just pretend? I really wish we could interact with that baby. Like, usually... In every form of Harvest Moon game, they, they give you some way to, like, interact with baby. Like, pick it up, shake a rattle, or, like, A Wonderful Life, where you can just, like, pick it up and show it to everybody. <laughs> but this one, though, is just, like, a sprite in the bed. Anyway. And, yeah. We're, we're in love. Or Dirk. It is kind of weird to, like... Just make a little you and watch it grow up. Alright, today is fun. It's late. I should get to bed. So, I think we'll skip ahead again. I know Dirk's birthday is on the 12th, but I don't think anything new is going to happen for his birthday. Like, until the kid gets a little bit older, as I've said like a billion times. <laughs> so, I'll check, but we will skip ahead uh, 12 days into the future and... Our kids should be out of bed and grown up in a toddler stage by then. Alright, I'll BRB! Alrighty, so this event happens right in the morning. Summer 16. Let us wake up. Throw some music at us. Ma. Ma. <laughs> ma. Oh god, it's just making me think of that one character from Made in Abyss that just says, Ma. Hey, a child is wearing clothes. Hey, you're no longer an inanimate object in the bed. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> this is spray. Oh god, he has little tiny stubby legs. Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those are some weird looking legs. It's also floating. Alex! You're all grown up! Dirk, take a look! Good morning, Mal! So, wasn't that a shock? Alex called me Papa and I was so surprised he can talk all of a sudden. <laughs> which, is, which is pretty good considering that we didn't interact with him at all. So I thought we'd come in here to, to wake you up with a surprise. Our plan worked, Alex! Yeah! Well, he's pretty articulate. Also, we can finally uh, see his flower. <laughs> How many uh, flowers he has. He likes us a lot, which I guess is good, because I mean, he's our child. We, we hope we have a, a firm bond. Firm mother-child bond. Yeah. Kids really grow so fast. I remember my brother saying something like that once. Brings back memories. Oh, <laughs> talking about his family and Grand Bazaar that I don't know about. Mal, we better make sure that we're raising Alex right. Alex right. I, I hope so. <laughs> you can only turn out one way in this game. Papa, Mama, love you. I'm guessing he just says simple sentences at this at this stage. Dirk, before you leave. Right, you don't say anything, though. No? Okay. Alright, well, now the child's out of bed, we can interact with him. Aw. Hee hee! Mom, play with me! Hee hee! Okay. Lost all my pineapple seeds are coming out. Coming out of the, the woodwork. Uh, we can also give him gifts. Um, his absolute favorite gift is really easy to make. You just need some milk and some eggs, and you can make him some pudding. He likes a lot of things as well, other recipes and items. Um, and then in general, his general dislikes is a lot of like cured and pickled foods. Like a lot of food that would be an acquired taste. Uh, to... To like an adult. I also kind of wonder. <laughs> I didn't see wine on the list, so I kind of wonder what he says with the wine. <laughs> Pudding! Pudding! Thanks! Yeah, it absolutely loves pudding. And doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl, it likes, a, it likes the same things. He's our child! Um, he won't leave the house. He will just stay in here. Um, it'll take him a year to get out of the toddler stage. Um... And into... child stage, so... Next year... In year 9, summer 16th, he should be a grown-up. However, if you want <laughs> if you wanted to, you can be you can make him be a toddler forever. Um because the the event to turn him into a child, it's not right in the morning. Um you actually have to trigger it like after 9 p.m. So if you're in the habit of going to bed early in the game, you can never trigger the event to turn him into a child. He could just stay at this stay this Little harvest sprite looking thing forever. <laughs> it's, it's cute, but I do like to see the kid grow up. It'll, it'll take a whole year though, so a lot, lot of things to do. Um, also, he will pop up in some festivals, like Child's Day. I think he, he might pop up in the Cherry Blossom festivals. Um, pretty much festivals that don't have a curfew. Like I don't think he'll, I don't think he'll pop up in the stargazing festival because like none of the other kids pop up at stargazing festival. It happens too late at night. But he should pop up in other events. Uh, he will be able to do pumpkin festival. I wonder if he'll be at the music festival. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure if he has any dialogue for the festivals. It could be like Dirk, um, where Dirk is just there but really doesn't say anything. He's just like an extra appendage for you. He's just there. He's he's a spirit member. But yeah, that's our that's our toddler. There's one event that's exclusive to toddler phase, so make sure you trigger it um, before you do turn your toddler into a kid. Uh, but other than that, there's like not much else you can do other than like give him pudding or other stuff. I want I want to give him wine. Can I give him wine or is it not gonna let me? Because I already gave him a gift. If you like. May from Friends of Mineral Town, and you gave her wine. She's like, "Oh, hush, hush! I won't tell my grandpa." 
No, can't take another. All right, fine. No wine for child. All right, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, he's a little bit bored. <laughs> but we can celebrate birthdays and yeah, you'll probably be like an active participant in that. All right, anyway, uh, I got a lot of chores to do. So I'll just probably do that off screen. <laughs> Just had to show off my kid growing up. Oh, look, where is he going? He's going to the table! Alright. <laughs> yeah, he'll just kind of walk around. Like here, he might hang out in the living room or the table. I don't know if he'll go to the kitchen. But yeah, he'll just hang out. Alright, so we will be right back. Uh, we will we'll play summer 18th. We'll skip to summer 18th, which is a stargazing festival. Which we've done before, but sometimes you get a little bit of different dialogue for that. All right, BRB. Today is the stargazing festival. Go to the town hall in the evening. All right, let's enjoy this final day of summer before we skip ahead to fall. Hey, Dirk. Just kind of weird that they're both just standing there. Morning, Mal. <laughs> I'm still sleepy. Festival, festival. Hehe. <laughs> You're not going, kid. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta stay up too late. <laughs> also, I wanna- I wanna give him some wine. <laughs> He's probably not gonna like it. No, not mine. Wow, he doesn't even take it! How responsible. Okay. No wonder it's not on his- <laughs> on his, uh, gift list. But he'll take the pudding. That's weird. Yeah, so like, I guess they just- Make it so he can't accept accept the wine at all. Um, he can still he can still give him disliked items. Like his most hated thing is miso eggplant. I guess yeah, because a child would not would not enjoy that. All right, so stargazing festival isn't until tonight. So let us let's, let us water first. Deal with our crops. Luckily we don't have any luckily we don't have any pineapples um to harvest, so at least we can spend our time like in the mountain or something. In some precious resources. I have been getting a lot of rocks. I think just kind of passive gathering, I will get 99 rocks. Eventually. <laughs> Bad I can't get just like stone from other places. Like in Stardew Valley where you can just like mine and you just land up with a crap ton of stone. But then again you need it for a lot more other things. I remember making, making like pebbly paths and stuff with it. It is also useful for making staircases. In this game the materials are just used for like one thing. <laughs> And some other requests as well, if you if you want to do them. Ooh, some peaches. Give me that. Alrighty. There we go. We're now <laughs> we're like that to spend so much time off screen just finishing up this whole pineapple farming. I almost have another 30 million gold. I don't know if I'll make enough though. I don't think I'll make 90 million by next summer. Seems highly unlikely. And I think, yeah, the the final upgrade I can get in fall. So, I don't know. We might have to just keep going. <laughs> keep farming. Alright, like, let me water my other shenanigans. I want that water twice a day as well. Do, 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 do. Got my roses, I got- I planted some more pumpkins too, just to cover all my bases. Still waiting for a, a flippin' uh, S rank request from the oracle, still praying. Keep giving me lower rank requests. She's like asked for all sorts of things, like herbs, props. I'm hoping the S rank one that she offers will just ask for a wall. 
Like I got I got I got lots of alpacas. <laughs> Please take the wool. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. We're keeping our eyes peeled. Let me finish watering. The sooner I water, the sooner it goes dry. Alright, so we'll have to go to the festival around nine-ish. We want to be able to water again. You're just gonna throw me right to bed after that. Thorn! Oh! The goddess is gonna congratulate me! Dum -da -da -da, you've harvested a hundred of those corn thingies! Congratulations, you're just beginning though. Keep on raising those crops so you can harvest even more. We'll keep it the good work, toodles! Don't give me anything for harvesting all these. I wonder if I like harvested something ridiculous like <laughs> I've harvested a lot of like pineapples. Would you give me something if I harvested ten thousand? You like the witch princess where you have to like give her ten thousand items before she marries you. But luckily not actually 10,000 items, just 10,000 things shoved in her face. You guys just doing ring around the rosy around the table? What you looking at? Kinda oh, weird. Hanging out like that. They, they need some TV or something. <laughs> Alright, uh, got some chores to do. Do we have some dirty alpacas? I gotta give them some green treats as well. It's really annoying. Trying to give these guys green treats. <laughs> like, or any treat in general, because they won't stop dancing. Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that all of them? I'm never too sure. <laughs> Right. Right, and then we gotta milk, and then we gotta gather our eggs, and then we go to the mountains, and ugh. There's a lot of chores. I regret. I regret getting this many animals. <laughs> I'll probably, like, take a break on the crops in the fall so I can get through the days a little quicker. I think I have enough crops for fall. To suit my nefarious purposes. I did I was growing stuff last year. Well, other than that. Just exhausted from work. Uh still reading The Great Cleric. I'm almost done through book nine, which means yeah, we just have book ten to go. I'm thinking I might read Under the Oak Tree next, because I saw that there's like an anime coming out, and that usually like puts it at the forefront of my mind of like, I wanna read it before it comes out. And the books were like really cheap, so I think I might read that next. I got like all five books for like $18 or something. I wonder if they're like, sh they might be shorter, maybe that's why they're cheaper. Which means I might breeze through it a little faster. Right, that's everything. Let's draw that up. And how are we doing on? Hello on cucumbers. Maybe we might do some carrots. Yeah, otherwise, I think we're pretty good if, like, we get some random requests. Like, I think we're... I think we can <laughs> satisfy most requests. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there, make some cheese... Some moolah... Oops. Check the request for it. It'd be kind of funny if there's a request from Ulyssa there today. Although I don't think I can talk to anyone today. Unless they leave the doors unlocked because it's an 8 p.m. festival. <laughs> it's like my my 
my prior knowledge just tells me like the doors are gonna be locked. I can't talk to anyone, but then like New Year's Eve, they allow me to talk to everyone. You know, just hide. You know, just hide away. Right, horse, where'd you go? Where'd I leave you? Yeah, I'm just kind of like my off time. I'm just kind of like eagerly anticipating some like new anime as well. Like all the all the seasons. Okay, I can't talk to people. <laughs> it's a ghost town, except for Kana. Yeah, just like waiting for new stuff to pop up. We actually like got into like a, a Netflix show recently. The called what was it called the Wednesday show? It's about the Adams family. Their take on that. I never really watched the Adams family when I was when I was younger, but. I mean, I, like, I remember the theme song, and, like, I remember the, them snapping, and... <laughs> but I wasn't, like, an avid watcher. <laughs> Can I kill the fish? Dark, eat the killer fish. Yeah, I wasn't an avid watcher, but this show is pretty good. Like, a murder mystery drama. It really reels you in, and the, the acting is great. <laughs> the girl that plays Wednesday is just, like, perfect. Like watching it with my boyfriend and my other friends, and the one criticism they have is they think Gomez isn't isn't hot enough. I'm like, all right, I, I don't remember how like original Gomez was, but like Gomez and Morticia are like pretty much a lovey dovey couple. So I guess they're expecting like, you know, there's a hot woman. They also want a hot man. For some reason, I just think of like <laughs> I think of like some random old movie couple, not movie couple, show couples in black and white. I always think of like Ricky Ricardo and Lucy. Those are like an attractive, attractive couple. God, I remember watching that at my grandparents a lot on their old black and white TV. Like, wishing they could get a color TV back then. <laughs> like, we have one at home, why can't we have one at Grandma and Grandpa's? I have too much stuff. Uh, I have to break my teeth on a walnut. Yum. I don't need this much stuff. I probably should have sold some stuff. Maybe I should backtrack. <laughs> Go backtrack and sell some shenanigans. <laughs> and it's almost New Year's too. I think I think I might release this on New Year's Eve. Sell uh, this. Did I melt the cat? Yeah, I did melt the cows. <laughs> Memory is not so good anymore. Yeah, it's almost January. Which means more of the books that I'm reading are coming out. I just remembered Ascendance of a Bookworm and Skip Beat 3 and 1 coming out in January. Ah, oh, plenty of stuff to do. Never, never be bored. I might get sick and tired of some things. <laughs> I might get oversaturated with things. Like, I'll never be bored, I'll just be tired. That's, that's always seems to be my mood, it's just tired. Which I could be like some people who are just like, oh, I'm gonna just learn a skill on my off time. I'm just like, man. I'm just having trouble just focusing. <laughs> I like the bear. I have lots of honey. I could probably give the bear some honey. Don't, don't hurt me. 
But have some honey. There you go. Num num. Hey, it's it likes me. Oh, the, it doesn't like me, but it's it tolerates my presence, which is, makes me happy. <laughs> Been trying to give it some excess honey whenever I can. Cause why not? Oh, okay, fine. Use a hot spring. <laughs> Might as well. Free energy, even though it's like hardly anything. I, I can get more energy from like pudding. So soothing and relaxing. Also, it would be Wunderbar if I can get a gift from one of the animals. I have to walk up here though. Probably doesn't even count because it's a festival day. <laughs> like, you have to pick the right time, and even if you do. Like a 25% chance the animal likes you enough. Anoki! No, oh, you're not. You're a weed. I should have kept my eggs. I could have, like, given them stuff. Oh well. I'm happy with giving the bear some honey. of a uh, perfect time. Ah, or stone. I want to check over here. Oh, Mako. I got scared. <laughs> For some reason I like thought I thought he was Harris. I'm like, wait, no, that's not the game I'm playing. It's the same color scheme though. Just grossly different people. Rock, I... I don't know. I'm probably just sell it. I don't think I need the apricot. I'm not making, like, apricot wine or anything. Bamboo. It's six. I should probably wrap things up and head over to Konohana Farm so I can water. I have like no space. I, I bought too many treats. I am set for a while though. I don't have to worry about it. My intention is not having to check the store all the time. Diggy. Time. We gotta wrap things up. Not dry yet. Oh great, my pineapple seeds are done. <laughs> what timing? Um, I think I need to eat some stuff. Make room for those seeds. dry. Now it's getting bone dry. There's only gonna be some of the pineapple seeds though. I like sh shoved them in uh, the other day and then and then I went to like pick some more. It was just like whatever was in storage I shoved in the seed maker. So it's a little bit skewed. But I'm just like I gotta I gotta get this out of my inventory. Turn into seeds, I need money! This is fine. Stop, 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 stop. Alright, go, 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 go. 
Through the laggy fields. <laughs> Should probably get rid of this teat. Probably cause it contributing to the lag. I have a I have a lot in storage. That's enough to make another batch. Maybe next year I'll have to I'll have to get rid of some of the tea to accommodate more pineapples. We're just gonna like go all out <laughs> every spot. <laughs> Imagine if I got rid of the trees as well. Just like every single spot have pineapple in it. The only thing stopping me is that like man trying to like get the tree seeds back takes forever. Even though realistically I probably don't need the fruit anymore. Because I've like already made everything. <laughs> I've already cooked cooked with it. I'm like, unless I want something fancy for for a cooking festival, I probably don't need it. I don't need it. I should do like one more cooking festival before like we absolutely end things off. It's like the whole game revolves around cooking festivals. <laughs> we just like did the bare minimum. Oh, my headphones died. Rip headphones. Well, I, I can't even hear anything. Well, it still says there's us. There's sound <laughs> coming through the. Oh wait, I got it back. You still have sound, I don't. Oh, they, these are $5 headphones, so... I can't complain. I got what I paid for! More pineapple seeds. And I'm gonna have to gather those tomorrow, that's fine. We have... We have plenty of time. To convert all that. Horse, did you leave me? You did not, thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the festival! See if anything's different. Or if I even remember <laughs> if anything is different. And now it's time to start the Stargazer Festival. What do you want to do? Let's start. Now let's begin! Hello, boys. And girls. And older gents and ladies as well. Dirk's with me, but obviously the kiddos too. Too young to come out this late. Tonight at the Star Gazing Festival. Let's all take a moment to enjoy the stars. Everyone pick a star to make a wish on. What's up, Grady? Not many villages have stargazing festivals like ours does. Oh, really? I thought everywhere did. <laughs> Don't really get that many stars in the city. It's too much light pollution. Although if I went up to the mountains for New Year's, I, there's like a lot of stars, but it's like really dark as well. There's too much light in the big cities, exactly. <laughs> you can't see stars like you can here. Oh, is that so? That's kind of sad. It really is. The city lights are nice, but I don't think I'd trade them for the stars. You just get, I don't know. <laughs> You also get a lot more convenience, but yeah, you do miss out on, like, the beauty of nature. Yes, they're so beautiful. I'm so glad I live here. So am I. 
I'm actually kind of envious of these villagers. <laughs> I feel like this nice little town is probably would do wonders for like mental health. You don't have the sense of community in the city that you have here. And the pace of life here is just more relaxing. Oh, it looks like we're starting! I feel so lucky that I get to see the sky of stars. Oh, they're all happy. They don't they don't have a lot of things to do, but they can enjoy what they have. Is that a different constellation? <laughs> What fine stars! It looks like a big bird spreading its wings! It does, doesn't it? That star over there on the left is especially bright. Doesn't look like a spoon today. It's about time to call it a night, I'd say. We all have plenty of work to do tomorrow. Time to head home, folks. Rip. Yep, I have a lot of pineapple service tomorrow. <laughs> Today was fun. It's late. I should get to bed. Alright, that was enjoyable. I like that stargazing festival. It was different. It was like different like every time. It probably like cycles through once you go through so many years. Alright, anyway. Uh, I think we're gonna end off. That's end, end of summer. Uh, we'll come back next episode and we'll be at the first of fall. Unless... Ulyssa gives me a request, and I'll, I'll do that request <laughs> first thing, but yeah. We'll, we'll see ya. We'll see ya next fall. Alrighty, I hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you next episode. Uh, bye-bye.